Ada? Damn it. She bandaged him up and then her jacket went missing. Ada? Where are you? Now our trip through here is going to be different than Ada's. Not going to the same rooms. Oh, there's the jacket. Oh, you put it off to the side. How how nice. She'll be back for it, I guess. Hmm. Going the wrong way. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Ew. That's a pleasant smell. <laughs> nah, that's the right way. The trip through the sewers in the original game wasn't very long. This one, it's actually a pretty substantial portion of the game. Hey. How you doing? We're approaching this from a different angle than I was expecting us to. Got him. Sorry, touched the microphone. Don't have the key. You know, honestly, I don't remember this walkway being right here. Knife. Look, I needed that. Ew. Here we go. Knife back. Oh man, this does not look like a storm sewer. I guess the G monsters have been pooping a lot down here too. They're not just human people. Cable car. Interesting. In the sewer, yes. Interesting's the word I'd use. Zombies in here. Where'd she go? <sighs> I don't like the sound of that. Funny that both, uh, I mean, I guess they gotta create similarities in terms of puzzles and all that kind of stuff. But that's the same room that Sherry was trapped in. Did we watch this video last time? It's a big VCR, holy shit. Yeah, we saw this. Uh, 
virus. I'll let those rats spread it. Yes, the rats spread the virus. All right, we're gonna do the same puzzle that we did before. The solution is a little bit different, but all of the pieces are found in the same spots. You know, I keep picking up the ammunition because I keep telling myself at one point I'm going to stop using these infinite ammo weapons. It's not happening, though. That needed the valve handle before. Cable cars that way. Missed him. There we go. Only a leg remaining. Oh, no, nope, there's the rest of them. Ain't fucking around with these guys, huh? Get in the muck. Nasty. Oh, that's the one I already killed. One hit kill. Gotta love it. Oh, I didn't get the damn valve handle yet. This is a useless direction to go. Sure, why the hell not? Can't go that way yet either. Where the hell did I find this thing? grenades, am I right? That's actually like a good life philosophy. Never have too many grenades. I gotta go AFK for a second. So I had to use the crapper. I don't know why I bother telling you that. Especially considering I could have just cut the camera and you never would have known. Or cared. Red herb. There we go. A lot of running around you're doing here. Not that you're going that fast, so... Whatever. I'll take care of that later. Oops, wrong way. Well, I gotta adjust the microphone. There we go. My pop filter keeps wandering off. And that's the way I came.
the G monsters were in the original game, but they put quite a more, more effort into making them scary here. Well, pretty much like everything. Now, you could just chalk it up to being um, two decades of additional game concepts and theory and all that stuff, plus more advanced technology. So, to say that, like, well, of course the uh, game is going to look different, it's going to be more scary nowadays, all that kind of stuff. That's definitely... Ooh. Oh, okay, I'm here again. Did I pick up the key? I did not pick up the key. Maybe you don't get the key here. Hey, that makes sense. Gotta be a storm sewer. Wouldn't be this much trash. What the hell? You know, I do. I do like the fact that they put some additional um, kind of variation with the zombie types. So you're not seeing the same exact like three zombies over and over again. The original game had probably three types of zombies. There was the white coat, there was the brown coat, and then there was the naked zombies. Resident Evil 2 added some additional variety. But for the most part, you saw the same zombies over and over again. In fact, you'd see the same zombie on the same screen. They added a lot more here, but that one that was down here that I blew away, that's like the eighth time that I've seen that zombie. He's got a bit of a distinctive appearance to him, and it's annoyingly obvious. Uh, do I got space in my inventory? Up oh, there's the key. I'll uh, swing back around and get this stuff, but I gotta, I gotta hit the box first. I guess I can just get rid of this. I could combine stuff. Still want to get rid of some shit, though. I'm not far off the item box, though. So we can just take a quick trip back. One of the biggest advantages, well, in the original Resident Evil 2, it wasn't quite like what the original, the first Resident Evil was, in the sense that in the first Resident Evil, whether it was intended or not, Jill came across as a kind of an easy mode. Jill was sort of easy mode, and... Chris was the kind of a hard mode. Now, it, that mostly came down to the fact that Jill could carry more items. She had eight slots instead of instead of only six, which made doing the puzzles, juggling the items around here. She had the lock pick, which made the which made it so she could unlock the sword key and she could unlock all the desks without the use of the small keys, making it even less of a strain on her inventory space. Plus, Barry helped solve a number of the puzzles. The Plant 42 part, Barry could just come in and burn it instead of having to use, um, having to use Rebecca to go and 
solve a puzzle. And Jill could just play the piano instead of requiring Becky to do it, and then you had to go run off and then come back. It was just sort of an easy mode. I think maybe a difference might have been that Chris could take more of a beating, but it didn't amount to much. It didn't actually make that big of a difference. Zombies. See this guy. He's back over and over again. See the same, same damn guy. Resident Evil 2, oh I think. God. This is oh. getting worse. Same guy, like right next to. Uh, his hair is different. Resident Evil 2 wasn't quite that way. In fact, I feel like in the beginning of the game, Claire has the advantage. Because she has a pistol that I feel like does a little bit more damage. And she gets the grenade launcher pretty early, which is a very useful gun. Whereas the bow gun... I don't know, it's... Roughly equivalent to a shotgun. So I, I really wouldn't say that the bow gun has a disadvantage. Plus the grenade launcher has the different kinds of, of rounds to it. And it does It's just a very versatile weapon. Leon, on the other hand, I feel like gets the advantage later in the game because he has the um, he has the weapon upgrades. So long as he did the weapon upgrades, like the shotgun that we upgraded here, no, oh, it's pulsating. As long as you actually did the upgrades, you were getting the more powerful shotgun. You were getting the more powerful magnum. You were getting the pistol that could fire a three-round burst. So it would feel like it made Leon's a little bit easier. In this game, I feel like there's a pretty good advantage to Leon in the sense that the shotgun, even the base shotgun, is a pretty damn useful. Pretty useful. Compared to what, uh... Claire gets. It's better for the liquors. And there's the flamethrower. Which, uh... We can get in this area, which I feel like is more useful than the... Spark shot that Claire gets. Especially when dealing with the plant monsters. Can I stick the, uh... Can I stick the rook in here? I can, but it doesn't do me any good. <laughs> now what? Always hated that zombie. Because it's just, uh... At a bad time. <laughs> and you spend a little while in this area trying to solve this puzzle. And he's following you around the whole time. It is... Irritating. I'm gonna get the flamethrower. Even though I don't really need it. Only because we didn't get the flamethrower in Claire's campaign. up. No, I know I didn't. <laughs> Not quite sure what the lock here is for. I guess if I wanted to, I could have used that as my escape. But it was unnecessary. 
never actually needed to go through that door. Although I could get back in now if I wanted. I got the, what was that, the service key or whatever. Although I haven't used it anywhere. I'm pretty sure I could just advance on in the game now and not bother with any of that crap. But I kind of want to go back into the police station. And, because we're at 21 minutes. I kind of want to go back into the police station and see about the, whatever the police badge thing was, but, you know, we'll get to that. It's different this time. Which doesn't make any sense, does it? Because it's in the same area. The pawn uh, stays in the same place. know this leads down there. Aside from the fact that everywhere you go seems to lead somewhere important. Ah, oh, this fucking puzzle again. You know, I never actually figured out how to solve this. I just dicked around with switches until it worked. Damn it. Freaking... There we go. I don't know if you saw that or not. <laughs> It was a Chrome uh, Chrome notification from Green Man Gaming. Shit. Jesus Christ! Up, oh, on fire. Okay, Billy boy, get your ass out here. Seems to not be affected by that. <laughs> it's still alive? Which makes sense because this isn't supposed to this is a scripted action. This isn't actually the boss fight quite yet. But we gotta do the same thing we did as Claire. Stay down, bro. Rapid fire! Now I got you! 
Stay down, bro. <sighs> had to hit him the once, probably because I did so much damage with the rocket launcher. Let's hope that's the last of them. Yeah, not much chance of that. A lot of shit left behind, though. Ah, oh, pfft. Fucking knife. Somehow I end up right back down here. Come on. Ada! Ada, where are you? Over here! Ada! I was getting worried there for a sec. I can't get it out. I, I don't know if I should die. Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. <sighs> Hold on. I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? <sighs> so, what do we do now? Get yourself out of here. Well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Watch your step. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. Come on. We got work to do. Yes, ma'am. Cable car will take us down to nest. Never spends our ticket to ride. Nice. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, we're almost there. Borrowed it from a dead man. I wonder if she'll run if I get far enough in advance. Or if she'll just stop moving. Sorry, Ada, I know you're gonna... Oh, shit. Let me carry you. No. That only make me feel worse. Ha-ha! <laughs> worse than it looks. What a pair. Both got one foot in the grave. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared, Leon. Alright, I am prepared, but let's not go anyway.